Life and mana are two rather important parts of your character. Life is obvious. You have no life, you're dead. Game over. If you have no mana, it's a lot more difficult to use your skills. Since they're so important, they're fairly easy to understand. Right? Well, not quite. There are actually quite a few things about life and mana that a lot of people don't understand. I'm Potato Peaker, and in this episode of Game Mechanics, that's what we're going to discuss. A couple of weeks ago, Mr. Lam SC posted a video about the 35k Life Barbarian. Most of it was self-explanatory, but one thing wasn't. A stream that he did the following day, he had a viewer ask him if he felt foolish taking off his torch and Annie and replacing them with 320 life small charms. After all, he was getting rid of about 160 life and replacing it with 60 life. And of course, Mr. Lam SC replied with a no. But why? For the most part, life and mana function the same. They both have potions of various sizes. They both increase after each level and they both increase by adding to your stats and with the use of equipment. Mana, however, regenerates automatically while life doesn't. You need something that replenishes your life such as a replenished life plus six ring. Anyways, all characters start with a set amount of health. They receive a set amount of health per level and per point in the vitality. For example, the sorceress starts off with 40 hit points, receives one hit point per level, and two hit points per point in the vitality. The Barbarian, however, starts off with 55 hit points, receives 2 hit points per level, and 4 hit points per point in vitality. I'll post a link to Maxwell for all the class health gangs in the description below. Now the same is true with mana. Every character starts with a set amount of mana, and it increases per level and per point into energy. A Sorceress, for example, starts off with 35 mana, gets 2 mana per level, and 2 mana per point into energy. While the Barbarian starts off with 10 mana, gets 1 mana per level, and 1 mana per point into energy. Now there are items that can add to your mana, energy, life, and vitality. How they are added depends on several factors such as how battle orders and soak age, oak age affect your overall life and mana. But first, what do Battle Orders and Soak Age do exactly? Why does everybody want them? You'll often see games where people are asking for BO. And they aren't asking for Body Order. They're asking for Battle Orders. Battle Orders increases your maximum life and mana by a percentage. Oak Sage does the same thing. And when you put a jar rune into a shield or armor, it does the same for life, while a sir rune does the same for mana. They increase your maximum life, but they only take certain stats into account. Items that give plus XX to life or mana, such as rubies for life and sapphires for mana, and charms are a great source of life and mana. The added bonus to these is that they are affected by the jar rune, sir rune, Battle Orders, and Soak Cage. Items or skills that increase your maximum life or maximum mana only take items that add XX to life, XX to mana into account. They also take hard points into your vitality and energy into account. So an item that adds plus X to energy is not taken into account by Battle Orders, for example. These are soft points. An example of this would be a torch and an ani. They add to all attributes, so these are soft points. Items that add plus XX to life or mana based on character level are also not taken into account either. So a popular item like the Herlican Quest, or Shaco as it's often referred to, which adds life and mana per level, isn't being boosted by battle orders. 
sort of answer the question as to why Mishalama SC didn't feel foolish when he took off his torch and Annie and replaced them with three 20 life small charms. The answer is that when he uses Oak Sage and Battle Orders, the torch and Annie, which add to vitality, don't count towards these skills. They're soft points, but the small charms did. They helped him gain even more life. Mr. Lama did explain this, but some people missed it because it is rather confusing. So we will head out of town and we will buff ourselves up. So with our example here using the torch and Annie with Oak Sage and Battle Orders active, we have 9,688 life. If we replace the torch and Annie with the three small charms, and then run back out of town because Oak Sage is not active in town, you can see that we gained 10 life. Now he did do several things that I didn't, so the changes for him would have been even greater. His Oak Sage and Battle Orders were a much higher level than mine, for example. But it does show that while the Charms only added 60 to life, while the Torch and Annie combined added 160 to life, we ended up with an extra 10 life from the Charms. These Charms gave an extra 100 life from the Oak Sage and Battle Orders. In everyday usage though, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Keep your Torch and Annie in your staff, in, in your inventory. Mr. Lama's SC was a very rare case where he wanted the small charms. And as he mentioned, he didn't do a lot of damage. You'll want the Torch and Annie in your inventory to help boost your skills. Another thing about Vitality and Energy that not everybody knows that the more you have, the higher the chance that your potions will crit. Wait, potions can crit? Now you sure can. A healing potion or mana potion has a chance to double the amount that it heals you for. The more energy or vitality you have, the higher the chance of this happening. The type of character that you are depends on your healing potions as well and how much they heal you for. The Barbarian gains the most, the Amazon, Assassin, and Paladin gain the second most, while the Druid, Necromancer, and Sorceress gain the least. However, when it comes to mana potions, it's reverse. The Sorceress, Druid, and Necro gain the most. Next is the Amazon, Assassin, and Paladin, while the Barbarian gains the least. Another thing about life and mana that not everybody knows is that life and mana leech only work on physical damage. So if you're using your Berserk Barb and you have a 6% life stolen ring, you're not getting in life because you're doing magical damage. Light Sentinel and Smite do not count even though they are physical damage. You also don't gain life or mana leech for most of the undead. They have a 0% drain effectiveness. And it's life and mana leech effectiveness is also reduced in Nightmare by half and in Hell it's a third. Life and mana after each kill, however, is different. Even if an undead dies, you can still gain life and mana from their death. This is often desired for casters. The only problem is it is not effective with minions or damage attacker takes damage. So a trapson or a summon necro or druid will not benefit from life and mana after each kill. 
and either roll a pacifist build or hydras. Rather odd ability is damage take taking goes to mana. It makes it sound like if you were to take 10 damage, you lose 10 mana instead of 10 life. But you actually gain 10 mana. And then there's mana burn. Everyone dreads mana burn. Because of the mana burn bug, where you lose more mana than you should. However, that's not even the worst part. It also heals the attacker. They gain life for the mana they steal from you. That part's not a bug. But since they steal too much mana, they gain too much life. And one final thing to note about health is hit recovery. Hit recovery happens when you're dealt damage in excess of 1 16th of your maximum life value. So while you're starting a new character with low life, it's easy to be put into hit recovery. You have less life, so if a monster crit hits you and takes 1 16th of your life, you can be put into hit recovery. Well, I think that about covers life and mana for Diablo 2 Resurrected. It's not quite as black and white as it first appears. But hopefully, this will help keep your life in the red and your mana in the blue. Thank you for watching. If you noticed anything that I missed, please comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you, and goodbye.